in a typical engine, uh, you have the, the head, you have the block, and the head have intake valves and exhaust valves. The intake valves are connected with the intake manifold. You see the air filter? Air filter, intake, 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 intake. And the exhaust valves are connected with? With exhaust, exhaust gases, exhaust manifold. Ah, in the combustion chamber, this is the piston, this is the head, you see? The piston and the head. I have intake valves, I have exhaust valves, and I have here the injector in the middle. If the engine is gasoline, I have injector here and a spark plug over there. If the engine is diesel, I only have the injector. You understand, guys? Mm -hmm. And I have intake valves and exhaust valves. Let me explain quickly, quickly, quickly what is the meaning of four strokes. Four strokes means four movement <coughs> of the piston up, down, down, up, up, down, and down, up. One, two, three, four. Those are the four strokes. Four movement of the piston vertical. Pum, 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 pum. Those are four strokes. What is the name of those four movements? Intake, intake, intake power, compression, power, and exhaust. That. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Let me refresh what happened in, in, in those four movements. Look at this. I have intake valves and I have exhaust valves. I am going to start with intake. During the intake, the piston is moving down. And which valve open? Intake, intake valve open. And allow that air enter, no? Sure. Air or air and uh, fuel, depend if it's gasoline, no? And now the cylinder is is full of air, and the piston starts to goes up the second the stroke. That 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 stroke is intake, and now it's is ready to start compression. What happened with the valves? Close. Both of them close, and now the piston compress compress the air compress the air compress the air compress the air. Now the air is fully compressed as in diesel at around a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure is more than 400 PSI. That's a lot. In that moment, before, just before the piston reached the top of the center, the injector inject, spray the fuel and produce kaboom, the explosion. And now the piston, boom, is sent down. What is the name of the other? Power stroke. Power stroke. And what happened with the valves? Continue close, close. continue close. And the, and the cylinder is full of gases, no? And now the piston starts to go up. Which valve open? Intake. Exhaust open. Intake stay close. And the piston goes up and push out the gases. Oh, and bingo. Four strokes. Intake, compression, power, and exhaust. Oh, nice, no? We are going to refresh. During the intake, which valve open? Intake. intake. During the compression, oh, both of them close. close. During the explosion, close. continue close and the piston down. And now exhaust, 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 open exhaust. Ah, okay. Exhaust valve only open when the piston is going up during the exhaust movement. Intake valve only open during the intake when the piston is going down in the first movement, no? In the first stroke. All right. This is the head, this is the exhaust, and this is the intake. I have in the head intake valves exhaust valve. The intake valves have a, a special, uh, it's like a tunnel uh, connected with the intake manifold. If I remove the intake manifold, I, I see the port where the air enter, and I see the chaff of the valve moving like this when the engine is, uh, is running. If I remove the exhaust manifold, I see the chaff of the exhaust valves moving when the engine is running. Everybody follow me? Mm -hmm. That's, that's the, 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 the procedure. The problem in a marine engine is when a small amount of salt water enter in the combustion chamber. In the moment of the explosion, because the amount of water, salt water, the power of the detonation increase dramatically and the piston expand twice because the, expansion, the thermal expansion of the aluminum is twice in comparison with the thermal expansion of the iron. Because the explosion increased dramatically uh, the, the piston expand twice, and what happened in between the piston and the cylinder liner is locked. And this is hydro lock. 
you hear that uh, what happened with your engine oh hydro lock and the engine is locked oh wow what happened water entered in cylinder number three or in cylinder two and three or whatever water entered what type of water salt water. water no coolant later we are going to talk about cool coolant is fresh water with another additives those additives uh convert that that fresh water like uh, oily no and uh, reduce the corrosion uh, those, those uh, the, the the fresh water not produce that issue if fresh water is entering in the combustion chamber when the engine is moving what is the symptom why smoke i have why smoke it's because coolant is entering because the head gasket the roku is doctor in that that's the problem but uh, if salt water enter in the combustion chamber the engine runs no it stop immediately and lock what is the enemy of the marine engines salt water salt water have two options to enter one option is during the cranking crank 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 crank, crank. it's possible that the water enter <gasps> this is why you need to be careful in that process my engine no start at the first one Oy, papi. no continue cranking cranking cr no papa because i can suction water i am going to explain right now what happened one option is during the cranking the other option is when the engine is running when the engine is running if one of the heat exchangers fell internally which one you remember i mentioned six heat exchangers one to reduce the temperature of the coolant other to reduce the temperature of motor oil other to reduce the temperature of transmission oil other to reduce the temperature of air hydraulic oil other to reduce the temperature of air air which air intake that air this engine what is that engine with the filter here what is the name of this engine with the filter here directly over the intake manifold naturally aspirated Oh, I am going to remove that filter, I put on the garbage, and I put a hose here coming from the turbo. And the turbo suction fresh air, compress the fresh air, and send that extra air, compress it here, into the combustion chamber. But uh, when the turbo compress the air, what happened with the temperature of the air? It's too hot. And I introduce here the air too hot. And after that, that air too hot enter in the combustion chamber and the piston compress more. That's too much temperature. In the moment that the, the injector inject the fuel with that excessive temperature, that excessive temperature produces a dramatic explosion and you can damage the head of the valves and the head of the piston, producing one uh, phenomenon that uh, is, is, is called vapor lock. To avoid that, I, I need to accept the hot air from the turbo with a little less temperature, with a little less temperature. I pass that air for that heat, uh, that heat exchanger to reduce the temperature of the air. What is the name of that heat exchanger? Intercooler. Intercooler, because it's located in between the turbo and the intake manifold. Intercooler. Ah, if the intercooler is cracked, oh, how the intercooler reduce the temperature of the air coming from the turbo? Ah, because the air is, is passing in a, in, a, in, a, in a pipe, and around the pipe is passing salt water to reduce the temperature of the air. If internally that pipe is perforated for corrosion, what happened? The salt water enter with the air and enter air with salt water in the combustion chamber. And kaboom. That's during the operation. Later, I'm going to explain with more detail. I know that it could be difficult, but uh, it's, it's simple. One possibility is with the engine running, failure on the uh, intercooler or other is during the cranking if if uh, the engine no start at the first one and i have this this problem pay attention you remember the valve no open the intakes only open when the piston is going down when the piston is going down in a diesel engine the intake valve open and uh, what happened what element enter in the in the in the in the cylinder diesel air air diesel never enter air pure air pure air pure air during the compression, the valve close and compress air. When the air, air is fully compressed, the injector inject the diesel and the diesel ignite that combustion chamber with that temperature and that pressure. 
Okay? You never compress the diesel. The diesel is injected in the moment where the chamber is at that pressure and that temperature. What happens if during the intake, when the intake valve is open, enter the air, and what happens if for some reason the exhaust valve don't close properly? It's a little open. What happened? Enter, enter, pay attention. Look at this. I am going to explain something. Pay attention. Ah, I forget to mention something. Here, the engineers, look at this. The engineers say, okay, uh, now I have another inconvenience in the conversion of this engine into a marine engine. Now the exhaust pipe is too hot, and I don't like this type of exhaust pipe in my, in my boat, because in my boat, how much is the distance between two engines? It's like this. It's good that when I pass, I touch that pipe, that's dangerous. And they say, no, this is not possible. We need to eliminate that exhaust pipe. No, I am going to cover with this now, my friend. That's dangerous. That area is, is hot. I am going to put the heat exchanger here together with the exhaust manifold. Everybody follow me? I am going to weld it, weld it, both of them. In other words, when the salt water pass over there, reduce the temperature of this metal and this metal. You know? The, the exhaust manifold is integrated with the, with the heat exchanger. And now the temperature of this element is reduced with the same part of raw water. And that one, they discovered this one. Look at this. They put the heat exchanger here together with the exhaust manifold. The exhaust manifold is here. I am going to remove the exhaust manifold only to show how is the exhaust manifold how is the exhaust manifold in the back? Look at this. The exhaust manifold here is connected. The exhaust part of the head are entering here. You see? That's the exhaust manifold. This is the exhaust manifold in the bottom. And here on top is the heat exchanger. They are separated with a metal internally. In other words, the exhaust gases are not here and uh, the salt water is not here. You understand? Everybody follow me? Yeah. Ah, the exhaust ports are connected with the exhaust ports of the head. Ready? We are going to put them back, Raul. Look at the exhaust manifold integrated with the heat exchanger. Ah, the heat exchanger, this one is identical to this one. You see, guys? Salt water enter here. Salt water goes directly over there, bye-bye. And uh, coolant cool and here, pam, 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 and cool and here. That's okay? That one occurs inside of this. I have cool and here, and cool and here, and I have salt water here, and salt water over there. Look at this. This is the exhaust pipe. The salt water enter here because the raw water pump, the salt water pump is here, connected with the pulley over there, introduce the salt water over there, the salt water pass over there, the salt water goes here, enter in the exhaust, look, exhaust gases, 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 exhaust gases, mix it with raw water, and bye-bye. You see? Ah, the, the pressure of the gases, <laughs> suction the raw water, and you see through the exhaust pipe, salt water with gases. Pay attention. Suppose that I am in the cranking, in my boat, and uh, during the cranking, some piston goes down, some piston goes up. The pistons that are going down during the intake is supposed to that only suction? Air. air, because the intake valve is open. If a couple of exhaust valves are not properly calibrated, they don't close properly, or, or they have carbon deposits over there are don't close properly, what happens during the cranking, the engine is not running, I don't have those push gases going out, it's cranking, in this point, here, in this point, I have raw water. During the cranking, the raw water is connected with the, with the, with the valve, is suctioning water, water, raw water, raw water. I have raw water here in this level. Everybody follow me? I have raw water here. If one of the exhaust valves don't close properly and a couple of valves are suctioning during the intake, suction, salt water. The salt water enter in those cylinders, and immediately the engine tried to start. What happened with those couple of pistons? Hydro lock. Hydro lock, and bingo, you destroyed the boat. 